everybody. I'm out here shooting my Avenger. We're gonna be testing these Maccabee freebies. We got some, sent me some cattlemen. Ooh, where's the cattlemen mythical unicorn glove? We got them here. <clears throat> we got six different types over here on the table. We're gonna be testing them out. I got the single shot tray. Where it's 60, like I measure it 61 yards, so I'm gonna say 60 yards. Get the get the chronograph. And we're gonna be trying to group these. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'll do. Maybe I'll do three or four of each one. No particular order. I only have two targets down there, so I'm gonna try and use each target three times, unless they get really wild. All right, so we got three on the table here of the 30 grain Cattleman 25 caliber hollow point cut base unicorn ammo. Shoot. Uh, the uh, Avenger is, uh, it's not full top off. I'm gonna have to probably, should have did that shit. But we were regulated around 2100 PSI. Now 30 grain. Let's try this out. Might be able to get through this um, with uh, single shot or three shots. Let's see here. Eight fifty four on the chronograph. It's not bad. Hold on, let me zoom. Also, my scope can I'll go nuts. Here we go. I think I got that solved. Adjust me a parallax here. Mm -hmm. Trying to get a clear picture, maybe. Come on. Come on, BSA Outlook. Oh, yeah, there we go. Looks nice. Looks pretty crisp. It's just a little low where I was aiming. I can, I can actually see that there. Not bad, not bad. All right, it's number three. 832 on the chronograph. Moving on. All right, we have a uh, caliber 25, 29 grain. Hollow point, hollow base. These should be interesting. Holy cow. I'm gonna try and pick ones that aren't dented because a lot of these skirts are a damage. 831 on the last shot chronograph. Those things are spinning in there. Eight forty one on that shot. Way wide. 
and uh, these aren't doing so well. So flash shot on these for sure. 837. Yeah. On to the next one. And here we got the 34 grain hollow point cut base. Which means it has like a little little stubby skirt, I guess. That one is not a cut base. Oh yeah, that one is. It's really damaged. I'm not gonna shoot that one. That one's okay. Open the breach first. 837 on the last shot. Duplicate, huh? Uh, duplicate. Okay, we're going going hot on these. 34 grain, hollow point, cut base. The selection is That one's gone in there. Oh, sideways. All right, 790, my last shot. No, oh, I see it's low. Wait, well, Right, on to the next one. This is a terrible group. Okay, we have the uh, 39 grain. These are gonna drop a lot. <clears throat> Hollow point cut base. These cut base are better than the hollow base. Seven eighty eight on the last shot. Seven thirty nine. Duplicate, 739. 
a terrible group. All right, uh, 25 grain hollow point hollow base. Last one was a duplicate, 739. These hollow base ones, these ones are gonna be cooking out of here. 25 grain. That one is defective for sure. Uh, so I was gonna say something there, seven, 739. Uh, these hollow base ones are um, easily damaged. All right, here, let's see. Uh, yes, okay, we are aiming at the middle. We'll make this test. That was 881 on that. We are still. It is. Regulator shows like two. My gauge here shows about two, so I should be able to get to this test. So you got five more shots. It's a bullseye, but 876. Group is not looking so hot. I do not know. I can't see it. All right. Hollow base. 872 on that last count. I'm gonna shoot this one since it's no good. The skirt is just mangled. Shoot something cool, like my camera. How about that now? I'll probably hit my camera doing this jargon. Make a loud bang. At the last sampling, 15 minutes of video. It's a 37 grain hollow point flat base cattleman. I don't know who made these. Cattleman is a company that I've checked the website and no longer anything available on there. Some information they can write to them. All right, let's see how these do. How's 874 on that chronograph shot? Ah, one away. Seven fifty four.
two away. Seven forty eight. for this Maccabees freebies shooting video. Yeah, buddy. That was pretty sweet. However, you can't get these at ammo anymore, so I'm sorry, everybody. It's the way it is. So, uh, here reviewing our unicorn ammo that you can't get anymore with our handy-dandy uh, calipers here. Uh, here's the 30 grain results. It's a 1.3 inch there. Here's our 29 grain hollow point hollow base. It's 1.59 almost 1.6 there. Here's our uh, 34 grain hollow point cup base. It's not bad 1.73 I guess. They're all at 60 yards. This was the by far the best one here. Uh, 0 0.740 or 39 grain hollow point cut base. And then here is a uh, ridiculous 3.18. And that is the 25 grain, 25 grain hollow point hollow base. These hollow, boy, hollow base ones, it's a terrible idea. Those ones shoot terrible. Uh, and then these, uh, here's a hollow point flat base at 1.65. Not a good group, in my opinion, because it's going left to right versus this one, which is up, up and down. <clears throat> so, yeah, these left to right ones, those are going to be a mess. These up and down ones, you know, better shot. These left to right, that's pretty good. 60 yards, so I'm impressed with that. Okay, so that was my uh, so-called review of the rarest ammo on the planet. I'm probably going to shoot the stuff that didn't work out very well at just whatever's around here. Uh, but I may hold on to that hollow point cut base, redo another test because I have quite a few of those left. Yeah. And then uh, see if they continue to perform well and uh, retain maybe five in case there's a serious problem and I need to keep those. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you have a good day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching. Thank you very much. Thank you, subs. Thank you, everyone. 747 on that last shot.